Oh yeah, then we need to go to a castle, which is the... Oh shit, I forgot there was music. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry uh, chat if I seem distracted, I'm just multitasking. Sorry about that. Yes, it's a bit of a blessing that you, can, uh, you can't hear the battle music. So... Okay, let's see. We need to head somewhere. I know where to head. Uh, we need to go to a haunted mansion, if I'm aware. No, because here's the thing. The difference, the only difference is cosmetic-wise. The game itself... How do I say this? Um, other than the fact the overall... The reason I want to use Reload is because of this. This theme right here, I can't listen to this a million times. The same theme a million times. Dude, Persona 3 Reload has the same theme, just remixed. What are you talking about? Yeah, and it sounds better because it doesn't play the same loop every single Yeah, battle. but it doesn't go as hard. <laughs> In the end, we can argue this all day, but they made a remake for a reason. Maybe we'll do the remake after if we ever get past five. Maybe. But until that happens, we gotta go through this. Hey guys, if you donate $10 in chat right now, I will I will fly to Shinigami. I will buy an airport ticket, fly to Shinigami's house, and slap him. You don't know where I live, asshole. You really think 10 bucks is enough for an airport ticket? No, because I know Jersey's Texas expensive as hell. <laughs> Like $100 or more. Yeah, not only that, um, it's because of the fact that, you know, because Atlas fucked us with FEMC, so I don't know if I should do portable FEMC or just stick with Reload. Because I know they're yeah, adding in... Us. Yeah, I know, they're doing a FEMC mod for um, Persona 3. I know that very well. Dude, Dude you know the Tesla Cybertruck? Yeah. Someone's selling one for $10,000 more than retail. On Facebook and Marketplace. Yeah. The thing is, though, Persona 3 Portable has a... It's basically just a PS2 game, but with less a, a, roaming in the environments. Like, the actual, like, world for, like, the shops and shit are not a, a 3D space. They're more like a 2D background. That is a good deal for that. Shit. New condition, Black Kingdom Hearts DSi. All right, fine. We could do reload first, and then FMC after five. Which I own Royal, and the thing is, Royal's gonna take forever to beat because it's way longer than Vanilla Five. Dude, there's, you know, I always wanted the Kingdom Hearts 3DS. Yeah. Or DSi. Someone's selling one for hundred and four dollars. Dude, I dude. Rubbish. I have someone made in uh, a mod for the original. What the. Oh, I can't use I'm it. going to assume this system came bundled with the original Kingdom Hearts 358 days, because it looks like that's what they're showing on the screen. I, the well, Japanese to be version. honest, well, here's the thing with FEMC. It kind of does, but here's the thing. With Fem At least you have an option to date the guys, which, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure if you're FEMC, some of you wanted to know what it was like to date uh, my man Akihiko, didn't you? I mean, it's Akihiko. What'd you expect? Uh, the first boss you fight. What is her name again? One of the Furies? Meg Megara. I go Megara. Megara. Okay. Fucking dope, dude. So, this is your hideout. It's the end of the line for you. Hee! <laughs> you can't get oh, in from here. The no, one I in the forest was here, from... yeah, but she's too much of a scaredy cat. That's how come. That's that's how come no one can stop me and my daddy. Hey guys, offer still on the table. I say we kick the kid. Hey! Ugh, she, she got away again. I wish we had more people to voice these guys. It'd be fun. Yeah, I can, we can probably call in another butter of ours. Damn. It won't even budge. Hey, you think she's old enough for weed? God, my Valentine is such a... It, it's a name that exists. <laughs> my Valentine? I just realized... I never knew Yu-Gi-Oh! used that as a pun for a character until I said it out loud. I'm like, oh my god, this is a pun, isn't it? Yeah, it's like... Here's the thing, though. Another character named Mai that it's also amazing is Mai Shiranui. If you know who she is, then you are cultured, my friend. If anyone here plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Does anyone still play Harpies if you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I used uh, to play Harpies. Harpies really suck. I know the bad and good ending things are in the forest, I think. Yeah, I want to get the good ending because, yeah, I'm a guy that's a stickler for ending, so how do I get the good one? 
I'm like, no, 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 it's mine. Could you not do that and just resurface it for five bucks that I'm paying you? Hey, chat, Thank I'm going to make a sound that JP absolutely hates. And I'm going to make a sound that you absolutely hate. Hey, Daddy! Hey, Daddy! Oh, my God! You see, if you listen closely on stream, if you have it opened up, ASMR. Oh, don't say ASMR. I'm about to scare the shit out of our chat. Hang on. Hey, chat. There's someone at your door. <laughs> now, if you have stream open. Because you can't... You can't hear it, but Jack could. <laughs> Jack could. Here's the thing. I'm just playing through P1 because I'm just like out of curiosity. Just want to like... Here, this is all of my room I'm willing to show chat. Because I have a tolerance for this shit. Although that tolerance is kind of iffy. Are you able to put a uh, panorama on screen? Um, why? Oh, I just sent you a room pic. to show chat that. Because... Well, here's the thing. It's not, I'm not gonna like cancel P1. I still want to go through it still, cause either way, like I'm at least having some decent fun with it. But I still want to go through it just for the sake of going through it, cause I want to know what's like. Also, that if you find a Sony Bravia TV, good TV, good shit. See clips. Your room's all clean. Mine's an organized mess. Yeah. Here's. Yeah. You can show that on chat if you want, I don't care. Fuck, I don't got jack and shit for armor. But yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, like, we're already this committed in, we're already this far into the game, so it's like we might as well, like, commit to it. Did you say committed? I say dreading every time you put it on screen. You're not the one playing, asshole. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh yeah, I forgot Snow Queen was the fucking permadeath dungeon, I forgot. <laughs> Wait, you permadeath in Snow Queen? Yeah, that's a route in the game, and if you die in it, you permadeath. <laughs> You die in the game, you die for real. Yeah. I'm willing to put the P2 though. Like, I've downloaded a few mods for it, some to. And the thing is, I know what I want to do for P2. In order to make it more accurate with the game's releases over here in the West, we're going to play through Eternal Punishment first because that's the only one we got for years until Eternal Innocence Sin. Dude, I wish we could get, like, a good, like, not S game directly based on SAO. Like, that's SAO. It's a game based on, like, SAO. Like, Hundred, like an MMO, hundred floors, first person to the top wins Eternal Glory. That's called Dot Hack. Not even Dot Hack, I'm talking like an actual MMO where it's like yeah, 100 dot floors, hack. first person to the top win. An MMO, not Dot Hack. But speaking of, I own G all the GU games through the remaster, so we could play it at some point. Like, literally, first person to the top gets Eternal Glory and bragging rights. It'd be amazing. Oh yeah! Down. Oh, I like, forgot. Back, right? Hey, um, you said how you you said you couldn't play this game, right? Which game? Persona One. I played the PS One version of One. So uh, look what face. look what Doc fine. just recommended me. Uh, get Parsec. If you pass the controller between each other, make JP JP play P One. Hey, Doc. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you heard him! Download it, motherfucker! <laughs> no! Download it, motherfucker! Do it, pussy! I have rights! No, you don't! You lost those rights when you decided to play this game with me. So, download you it, fucker! You lost those rights when you decided to be my co-host. Download it, fucker! Parsec. Do we both need the ROM, though? No. Sorry, that joke is funnier to me every time. Um, it's just one I can spring on you without any effort. Araya. Maybe, but I don't know if I'm going to stream Araya. The only reason I streamed Sympathy of the Night is because I just wanted to get it out of the way. Um, I might do a regular recording on my own. Because that's what I usually do with games like that. If a game is like short enough, I will do a recording. 
but if the game is like a decent length, then yeah, I'm gonna stream it instead. I can always stream the Switch version on my end. I my collection now. Oh yeah, I forgot you have the game too. I guess I don't feel like playing for I want to play Metroid, uh, the new one. Not Prime 4, the other one. Metroid Dread. It's so hard to find a copy of that on physical Oh games. no, I know no Folio Wall Araya is such a good game. And I know people don't really like Dawn unless you play the game on an emulator. Or a totally legit DS. I have Dawn on a Switch. No, you have Araya on Switch, not Dawn. Dawn is a DS game. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the thing comes with all the GBA and DS titles. No, it only comes with the GBA. I'm gonna prove you wrong in two seconds. No, I have the game too, believe me. Both on Switch and PlayStation. I'm telling you, you're wrong. It only has the GBA games. I'm telling you, you're wrong. No. I just noticed they tell you to play far away from the screen. I'm playing on a portable handheld, you fucking dead. Oh, it's harming of dissonance. I, I said you're right. I hate it when I'm right because when I am right, it pisses you off. <laughs> Fuck! I don't fucking right. Yeah, every... I like how every time I'm right, I always piss this guy off somehow. Dude, you know what game I wish I still had? The original Metroid Fusion. That's the prequel to. Uh... Oh, oh, Doc, it's not that bad. Is it a is it a great remaster? No, it's just a straight up port. Oh no! What, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean they removed what is a man? It's still there. Here's the thing. It's I'm not playing a Metroid game. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe because I never finished one. Yeah. Hold on. See, I didn't know what I was doing back in the day when I played Metroid. That's why I never finished. One. I'm sorry about the mute. You're evil. You steal men's souls. Tell me, what is a man but a miserable pile of secrets? No, your, your voice doesn't. No, it's never gonna be the same. Like, I'm not trying to imitate him. I'm just I know, to say but it. like, it just doesn't hit that no. right. It just doesn't hit the same when it's not the original. Like, yeah, I, he like gets that green in there, like really good. Yeah, and it's like you can. Wait, is it Yuri playing the protagonist, or is he playing Dracula? He was playing for. He was playing Alucard. Oh, who's playing Dracula there? Um, Patrick Seitz is in the doing in the PSP version. Oh, Patrick Seitz. <laughs> AKA Dio, AKA um, the MC uh, for the dub for Redline. Coffee Daddy is it? No, Coffee Dad is no. That's not Coffee Dad. Patrick Seitz is also Frank. Damn it. Patrick Seitz really is need to also. Make Coffee Dad Dracula at some point. He's Chris's voice actor from. He was Chris's VA from the original RE1 or a new the new the remake RE1. Wait, who's Chris's VA? Um, apparently he was Dra It was Dracula that was Chris's VA. Chris's VA from the I original. Like coffee, Dad. I'm like, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, he was the. It was the original Chris Redfield that did Dracula. Dude, that one scene that Coffee Dad has in Persona 4 or 5 when he finds out like Futaba is working with Joker. Is the you... fucking best line he delivers in that whole game. Like he has actual anger in his voice, and that is amazing. You keep referencing like, that a bunch of times. Me. Like I know, like it is, dude. It's fucking the best. Like I, that's I know like the thing I want to aspire to if I ever get into professional voice acting, because that shit's amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah. It doesn't hit the same. Luckily, in Lords of Shadow 2, which underrated in my opinion. They kept the what is a man but a miserable pile of secrets line, and I love that. Only difference is you're a Dracula this time. You're fucking Dracula. Uh... Which, I would love to play Lords of Shadow 2 and 1, one Mirrors of Fate and 2 on stream, because I love the Lords of Shadow games, but the thing is, the only reason I love them is because I was into God of War at the time, which I think I don't think I told the story. Um, so when I, my first experience with... My first experience with God of War was a weird way of experiencing it. 
because it was when I was graduating second grade and when I got my first PS3. And my, the first game I got for it was God of War HD Collection, which had the first two games. Wait, 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 hang on a minute. You were in second grade? <laughs> yes. It was fully exposed tits in it. You think that was bad? I was playing, like, Art Mortal you Kombat. Know. You think that's you think that's bad? I was playing, like, Resident Evil 4 and 5 at the time, and I was also playing, like, right. Metal Gear and shit. I'll let I've... you continue, but I have something to say when you're done. Yeah. And the thing is, though, my I didn't mean to interrupt you, sorry. Thing is, though, the TV was in the living room. Actually, no, it was in my room. My mom was in the room at the time. And, um... <sighs> oh, the moment I booted up that game... <laughs> He's like, I have made a terrible mistake. Oh, no, my dad has made a terrible mistake. But here's the thing, I gotta thank him for that, because now I love God of War. <laughs> And thank you, Dad, for that. That was the best gift of my second grade. So what would always happen to me? You know what my mom would always say to GameStop whenever she bought us like a rated M game? She would uh, always say that it's for their dad. But the GameStop employees knew they were full of shit. She was full of oh, shit. No, oh, no. Here's the thing. I'm pretty sure every GameStop employee knew they were full of shit. Like, it's just common sense. Like, oh, this rated M game for your father? Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, yeah, sure. With your kid next to you? Yeah, sure. Uh, um... So you know what happened once? And so, what ended up happening? Like, and uh, the thing is, though, oh, not only was it oh, wait, not, done, sorry. no, not only was it I that got into God of War, it was also my uncle that got into God of War. And what ended up happening is that my I think I ended up getting God of War three for Christmas or my birthday. I don't remember. But I essentially got God of War three, and um, uh, and we had a lot of fun with it. The thing is, uh, I had a lot of fun with it, and I had to, ended up losing my copy of it, and I felt really sad until I got the remaster. I was taking a nap one day. One? My no, God of War three, because I it was a few while after, because I got God of War three remastered after a bit, and my uncle was really into God of War as well, because he got the HD collection for the PSP games. And what ended up happening is that I was taking a nap one day. I woke up, and as I was waking up. My uncle was in the room with Aphrodite, and my mom just walked in. <laughs> Isn't she like huge with big, with like gigantic tits or something? No, in it's God really of War tits. 3, she is very, very... Look up Aphrodite God of War 3 real quick. I'm not Dude, sure. I've seen the footage. <laughs> and the thing is, though, I woke up mid-minigame, and my mom walked in at the exact same time. <laughs> That's amazing. And you want to know my Isn't uncle's this a sex <laughs> mini game? Yes. And you want to know my uncle's excuse? What? <laughs> We're just getting red orbs. <laughs> We're just getting red orbs. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm probably going to. I wouldn't show my niece and nephew that, obviously, but I'll probably be like that when I'm playing games with my niece and nephew when they're old enough. Oh my god, but it was. But thinking back at it, it was so fucking funny. Because I woke up, I was taking a nap, and I woke up as he was starting the minigame. <laughs> oh, so and you, what I was gonna But say. here's the thing, though. That's not even the worst part. Because when I used to go to my uncle's apartment to uh, go, go hang out there, he had the PSP version of God of War. Here's the thing, though. Unlike me, where I had my consoles in my room, he had his PS3 in the living room. And what ended up happening... <laughs> Is that he was playing the PSP version of God of War Chains of Olympus in the... I was playing the PSP version of God of War in the Chains of Olympus in the living room. And everyone was there. And what ended up happening is that everyone saw the minigame where after you beat the Persian boss. And oh. I went in the right room because that's where they were. And did the mini game, and my aunt looked at me, got scared, and yelled at me like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> no, I didn't say that excuse. Yeah, I was uh, like, everyone in the living room saw it, and it, but thinking back to it, it was fucking hilarious. Whoo shit! Oh, so when I was at my brother's place. And what's, I actually scared myself. What's worse is that he also had Duke Nukem Forever, which was... Oh, boy. Oh, guess what I did at my brother's place? What'd you do? When his uh, daughter was having, like, one of those 
so nowadays when they have snow days for kids in Pennsylvania, they'll do that like on screen thing with virtual yeah. classes. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing God of War in the living room, and I'm like, oh, or not God of War, uh, Mortal Kombat, I'm like, Jesus Christ, I hope they can't hear this. If you're gonna mute its PP though, you should probably take it out to dinner first. Persona 1 OST. Pretty right. much. Oh, yeah. What's yeah, the song is good. It's just a one minute loop, and that's the fucking problem. I love oh, Black wait. Cat and many of that hates hugs and one that loves hugs. Oh, wait. Fuck. I forgot. They don't have the original Persona 1 OST. They only have, like, the PSP version, which sucks. Hey, well, Mimi, can I rename you Barrel? To YouTube I go. Actually, no, never mind. Not YouTube. It's going to make the stream lag like a motherfucker. Never mind. Wow, Architect is still getting updates? I thought that game fully released already. Yeah. Here's the, we're gonna go I, don't, I don't really like Architect that much. It's like very like RCT 1 and 2, and I, I, I'm i a big fan of RCT 3, not 1 and 2. Yeah, Persona series. Let's see. There's Persona 3 Fest. There's... Man, it sucks that not all the OST is available on Spotify. Cause you think they would, right? They would have it. Guys, my cat learned tail whip and it's super effective. Yeah. This one's my favorite, so we're gonna keep it with this. Oh, I do have enough money to buy a case of the Golden Idol. Sweet. Apparently it's one of the hardest detective games you can nope. play. Cause funnily enough, they have Persona 2, just not Persona 1, and I don't know why. Like, they have the OST for Persona 2, just not one on Spotify, and that's super weird. Is oh, hey, having a sale oh Jet, Jet! Hey, yeah, buddy, long time no see. Aw, oh, man, who let that asshole in? I'm kidding. <laughs> Been a while, buddy. How you doing? How's your night? Playing through this shit Listen, again. I thought you permanently banned Jet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dick. I thought you permanently banned his ass last night. No. no. What's up, Jet? Yeah. We're just having fun. <laughs> yeah. After a while, because usually Persona 1 tends to get on our nerves after a bit. Listen, if Persona 1 doesn't make us go insane, then what's the point of streaming? Yeah, I'm trying to find the Lost Force, and I don't remember what part of the map it was in. I mean, Origin can still pass itself off as an Assassin's Creed tale. They're just experimenting. Yeah. Um, but then they but can... after Black Flag, though... You can't top Black Flag. That game's too good. You mean you can't you can't top Brotherhood? You mean? Fucking Brotherhood. I played Brotherhood for about five minutes and gave up on it. Because you suck at the game. You suck at most games, dude. I didn't play two beforehand. Yeah, I was playing two. Two is great. No, two's amazing. I just haven't played it beforehand because I didn't have a copy of it on hand. I used to swipe some games for my brother back in the day. When he was over my, uh, yeah, years and years I got the Ezio years, collection, which is great. Unfortunately, the reason Assassin's Creed stories got so fucked up is because the original writer for the game left the studio, and I think he started doing his own thing now. No, but seriously, can we talk about how we haven't had a single gameplay trailer or teaser or anything for Elder Scrolls 6 since its announcement? I think everyone knows this by now, dude. <laughs> we got Planet Coaster 2 before we got Elder Scrolls 6 news. And we have Fable, which I was sure was going to release the same year as Elder Scrolls 6 beforehand. No, it's releasing earlier. It's actually <laughs> amazing. I know it is. Here's the I mean, thing, able, though. still don't have... Here's the thing with Elder Scrolls don't... that I realized is that... Remember how you said as the series went on longer, they tend to dump things down? Mm-hmm. Wait, has it been an hour? Oh my god, it actually ha has been an hour. So did you know, one of my friends told me this, that was really into like the behind the scenes of the development of Elder Scrolls 4. But when Elder Scrolls 4 came out, it was like, completely unplayable. You know why? Why? They had the most advanced AI of any game at the time, and the AI was able to do whatever the fuck they wanted, including stealing shit. And the AI would just commit crimes against other other AI constantly and end up in jail. Oh god. So they had to take that shit out of the game on the, like the first patch. It was amazing. 
But that was so cool though. Why would you remove that? Cause see, it just wasn't in the cards yet. They couldn't fix it. Like we could probably do that now on Unreal 5. No. I know a you ever heard of Pathologic? No. The game essentially did that where the game is lit the literally the whole point of the game was that everything was on a time an invisible timer. You were either there for it or you weren't. The game did not care if you were there for it. And that was so good about Pathologic 2 and 1. Because those are games that just did not give a shit about the player missing out stuff. If you missed that out if you missed out on it, then ooh, boo-hoo, cry me a fucking no, I don't know how true that story is, because I could not find any evidence. Of that ever happening? Yeah, the Might thing is though, Rich. By the way, chat. If you have the time, check out Pathologic. If you love games that have like a world that just lives without you, because it's amazing. I highly recommend you play it because it's really good. Like it is a great. It's a great game. I highly, highly recommend you check it out. Here's the thing though, Doc. I'm trying to find the forest. I just don't know where the forest is. This convenient is excuse for everyone, where it's like everyone uses him as the excuse for their life being shit. In reality, he has nothing to do with it. He literally was born that, he was just born with this role he had no control over. And because he had that role, people are like, I know who to blame. I'm gonna blame this little shit. Yeah, exactly, JK. Exactly. Yeah, it's, uh, Hell of a Boss is just such, it's such a, it's so much, it's, oh my god, I can't English tonight. Hell of a Boss is just way better written than, uh, has been, has been Hotel, like, oh my god. I yeah, but what really they sold, give enough breathing room to has been Hotel's plots, they're just over in an episode, like an old cartoon would be. That, and also because it's a musical. I mean, I don't mind the fact that it's a musical, but they need to spend more time with these characters, dude. I think the problem is that Hell of a Boss is now their cash cow that they don't really care much about Hasbin anymore. Which is funny, because Hasbin's the one on Amazon. Yeah, it's... It's also fan-funded, so they can do whatever they want. They don't have to go by follow network constraints. That's my guess. And here's the thing because... with... The reason people mostly follow rules on YouTube is so they don't get demonetized. But throw that demonetization out the window, and you can do whatever the fuck you please. That's why a lot of people start Patreons. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like with Lucifer Season 1, essentially. That's a direct inspiration I'm taking from. Where it's like, everyone blames the devil because he they think, Oh, the devil made me like this. Oh, it's because of him that I'm like this. No, it's literally just... It's just you just being a bad person. you just not taking accountability for it. Well, this was probably my favorite character in Hasbun Hotel. <laughs> Except again, they made him get over his depression way too fucking quickly. <laughs> my daughter wants to see me take that depression. <laughs> oh, that's such a fun. It's a fucked up quote though. That's so fucked up. <laughs> I get to voice him in a uh, fan project. It's fun. I have. No shit. Even Fate's story is way better because of the fact that it gives you a lot of insight on Shiro's perspective. Chat, Which... would you rather us... Okay, I'm going to ask Chat this right now because I'm curious. Chat, would you rather us do... Oh my... Dude, you found a... You found a... Dude, you found a brother! You found a brother! Look at Chat! Huh? Look at Chat, you found a brother! Have you played Catalyst Shoujo? Oh, fuck yeah, I have. <laughs> dude... <laughs> That novel made me almost fucking cry, because, first of all, they have a character in that novel that almost certainly is autistic, and was almost certainly made to go to that school via toxic pants that were like, oh, you can learn sign language there. <laughs> I like and how, I like how this is the- She says in her storyline, she doesn't like, she like, doesn't like the school, but she came here to learn sign language, it's the only place she could go. And I'm like, oh my god, you're speaking to the fucking choir. Because that almost happened to me. I was almost sent... As I said I, earlier, I had a really bad middle school experience. And the district nearly gave up on me and sent me to the handicap school in the district. And I would have hated that. Because I wouldn't have been able to do anything vocational-wise if they would have done that to me. I rest <laughs> my case. I like how this is the one of the only chats that I know of that played this that shit. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you're going to love really this. really good! Mine yeah, stuff, but it's really good. I know. Also, I really liked Emmy's storyline, how she like was using her trauma 
to shield her actual feelings of everything, and it's like, people do that realistically, and it's really good. They apparently banned that game on Twitch, so that was a, a no-go. Apparently it's shadow banned on Twitch. Like, it's not on the list, but it's apparently very shadow banned because Twitch no Reiki the anime games. Yeah, here's... I wish I was kidding, but they have such a bias toward anime games. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, blame the blame leaders or the owner or, managers. Or Photoshop or someone one boss on the screen. Cover. Oh, even better, we can use that Pikachu thing we found. Oh yeah, the Pikachu cup. I forgot the about Pikachu that. I, the Pikachu do we? Oh, do I still have it? Hold on. Do I still do have we, it? We should use that as our go-to sensor. Hold on. I think we still have it. Let me check my files. Clean all the dirty shit with Pikachu soap. <laughs> okay, let me go to Discord real quick. Let's see. There it is. All right, let Wait, me what? just go to image three. Browse. Uh, I did not link MetaPay to my account, Facebook. Why the fuck are you saying that I did? Here's the chat. Here's the cup chat. Which, speaking of, oh yeah, I forgot we had to like put it every time the MC was on screen. Damn <laughs> it! Where go. is it? There Hang we on, go. Let's go look it up. There we go. Pikachu. Here's my controller. Hang on, I gotta show you this, dude. You're gonna laugh your ass off. I don't know how this got through, uh, how the fuck this got through, uh, the testing phase, or the prototyping phase, but it did, and it's kind of amazing, and I kind of want it, just for the novelty of the damn thing. Yes, the Pika Cup is the Persona 1 Pro Tag now. Alright, dude, I'm sending you a picture in chat to put on screen. Uh, Fucking let's, great. Let's see it. <laughs> Ow! How did you get past even the prototype stage? <laughs> this is from the 90s. This is real from the 90s. It's real. It's fucking real. It's amazing. Oh my god. Bro, what the It might be fuck? AI. I don't know, but it's still funny as fuck. Hey, chat. Look at this man found. We found the second image. <laughs> Why did we find the most cursed things of Pikachu? Is it because there's everything a Pikachu? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Including Gilda. <laughs> oh my god. Put that over, Mark. Oh, yes. Hold on. Hold on. Move <laughs> over here. I want to find three more cursed Pikachu images. Oh, I need a... Well, no, not yet. We're, we're going to say that. I need to put chat on top. The legendary Dude, Pika. I'm like to spit my drink. <laughs> <It's so laughs> funny, Shut up, Jet. The legendary Pika ice cream machine. <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut your. Shut up. Yeah. We got water parks, bitches. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jet, just record your computer screen with an expensive Sony camera. I mean, that's what I do for TikTok. I just record with my 4K phone camera. And it gets the job done. Also, chat, I don't know if you'd like this for content. I've been running it by Shinigami, but we're unsure. Would you like me to have Shinigami build a roller coaster and planet coaster with no guidance? We're going back to 2010 with recording PSP footage. I'm very curious if you'd like to see that, because I will make him do so. Because we share a library now on Steam. Jet agrees. Alright. He wants to, he wants to see that. Yeah, he wants to see me lose my shit trying to figure out how to make things work. Do you... Okay, here's the thing. Were you taught physics in middle school science class like I was? Like, basic physics. I think. Yeah, Class of 09 is a game that was made for 2000s kids and people raised in the 2000s. Both Dude, the... it's even before my time in high school, and I thought my time was brutal. No. I know my mom's time in high school, there were like a lot of gang wars and shit going on between the Lakewood kids and the Manchester kids, and I just fucking doxed myself again. And then there's Class of 09, which just shows how the 2000s were very bad. Oh yeah, dude, the 80s were worse. When my mom went to school, uh, we didn't have a high school for the kids in my town. And so they went to uh, the other town's high school, and they were, like, cutting people up in the bathroom in, like, gang wars. It was bad. And that school still has a shit reputation. They tried to do uniforms once, and no one followed the rules. It was great. Yeah, here's the thing, Jack. Class of 09 is the most offensive, out-of-pocket, um, egregious, and the most darkest comedy game I've ever played. The shit. Uh, we're still taking a mental break from that shit. 
The shit the game made you do and say was absolutely the most funniest and most fucked up shit I have ever seen. <laughs> like, it's essentially what happens if you get a YouTuber who has been edgy since like the 2012 era and has never changed and then given them the, right, the ability to make a game out of it. Dude, you know what we should do? If we set up a Patreon or something? We yeah. should totally make one of the stretch goals. If five hundred dollars or more, I'll get a tattoo of your name on my shoulder. Be fucking glorious. Be fucking hilarious. I would too. I totally would. If my mom asks who that is, my gay lover. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Up. Okay. The cop and his wife. Oh god. Nah, I probably wouldn't go that far with a tattoo. I wouldn't want that. But not only that, the main character of class of 09, Oh my god. I can't believe. Like, the fact that she, like, oh my god, Nicole. Oh no. What? He's only a five. Go fuck yourself, game. Nicole is a whole demon. She does not care at all. <laughs> she, oh, Nicole? Yeah. Dude, she's the definition of a sociopath. Which I'm trying to remember what the definition is. Oh, yeah, she... She seems to have like APSD, which is essentially social path, sociopathy disorder. And the I mean, you like so against the man that you'll try and fuck over the man. It's what the Joker's theorized to have. No, it's psychopathy and sociopathy for Joker. I tend to get the two. Confused. Then there's Nicole, who is just does not give a fuck about nothing or anyone. Didn't she straight up abuse her girlfriend in one of the routes? He had a girlfriend? Remember, we, we did the route where it's like, apparently she was such... Apparently Nicole was so bad, she made a lesbian go straight. And she was so bad that she gets her family arrested in one route and then becomes homeless. No, she, no, she was no, basically in debt. And she was also so bad that apparently she had her... That when her mom died, she did not care at all. Yeah, it's uh... It's a game, Act game. Actually, actually, she's the cause. <laughs> Why does that not fucking surprise me? Remember we played through it where apparently, like... Here's the thing. The game is not afraid to make a lot of drug references. So what ended up happening... Also, there's a literal school pew pew scene in the fucking game, which is like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, and it was Nicole's fault because he was, she was essentially instigating the whole thing. She and the bullied the anime kid, and then the anime kid was like... Here's the thing. I don't even think the anime kid was stable at all. I don't Dude, even. I was the anime kid in high school. I'm pretty sure I was stable enough not to do that shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jeff was just had something wrong with him. Zero Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh god. Somehow. Yeah, Fahrenheit. Not gonna lie, Fahrenheit's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever that has ever existed. Dude, not... the imperial system just stupid. You know we tried to. You know why we can't change it, right? Why? We tried once and it was a ton of car accidents. The F stands for freedom. Jeez. No, no, no. We tried to change the direction of the roads in like 1940 or something, and it was a shit ton of car accidents. Yeah, because people were so documented thing. Because people's muscle memory, right? Lol, you got the pass. Never mind, you used it last time and it made me scared. Never mind, you used it last time. Pass suspended. Do that. You said the R word? Oh, I'm on. I can't go around saying that shit in public. Or else I'm gonna be backed by the Aussie police tonight. Who's there? That fucking douche. Yo. What? Mark. Oh, I'm in Planet Coaster. Hang on. And you know what C in Celsius stands for? Fucking communism. Fucking communism. Did you just make that up? No, that's in chat. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. So, hey, someone make isn't that Mark the ghost Australian. Who showed up. With, oh, sorry. Someone make Mark Australian. <laughs> Do you want me to? <laughs> Jen, Boy, you, you isn't want that this man the fucking ghost who showed up at the historical society? No, that doesn't feel right. Oh god. <laughs> Jet wants you she to do it. friends with that rat and black. What? Alright, I'll, I'll humor you, chat for a bit. I am a voice actor, I must take her in my voice. 
Boy, Mike, I think we should fucking kick the child. Kick no, the no, baby. No, you're supposed to kick her, Marky. Marky. Kick the same Marky in Australian. Kick the baby. <laughs> Do it. I still love that joke in fucking South Park. Kick, kick the baby. The ba kick, <laughs> kick the baby is my favorite Please joke. Stop referencing that. It's a. Dude, you... Did you ever watch the N word episode? <laughs> yes, it was amazing. <laughs> that episode's fucking amazing. Apparently, it's the first time the N word was said uncensored on TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Not only they say it uncensored, they said it 30 fucking times and had a counter in the corner. <laughs> I think they even said it in one of the games, too. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the first one. I think it was the second one. I don't Do remember, it. but it was so funny. I could not stop laughing. I like how South Park is one of the only shows now that's just like. We don't give a fuck how crude we are. <laughs> We're gonna take that actor that died and sacrifice him to a cult like he always wanted. Hey, now, don't cry. Are you a little mine? Yes. Whoa, she has a half moon shaped compact. Looks a lot like mine. <sighs> oh, she's her as a kid? Yeah. They, they figured it out by now. The game doesn't. No! The game doesn't make it that difficult to understand. I mean, look at the bow and look at the little girl's bow. They're oh, practicing was this the, the girl that was being a bitch to us the entire time? No, that was the one, that was the one in black. This is the oh, one. I didn't even see her until this point. I must be the castle's key. But who are these children? Hey, Ma, you know that girl, Aki? Is she a friend of yours? No, she's not my friend. She's a meanie. She's my... She's the bad Mai. What does that mean? I was lonely. That's when Kandori came. And she came out of me and left with Kandori. She knows Kandori isn't our real daddy. Huh. So she's a separate personality that splits off. What is that compact? Why does this remind me of an N Shyamalan movie? It's my treasure. He grants wishes. He used to make this town. No way. That's... <laughs> wow, you're like a magical girl. I could use one of those compacts myself. Brown, do not mention magical girls in this fucking conversation. He just reminded me of a really fucked up one. Oh god, my Doka Magica was so cursed. And you know what's I love that fucking show! That and show was great! It is! The future magical girls doing what I always wanted them to do. Killing each other! And the thing is, apparently the writer, or the guy involved uh, with that show, is making a new game that has Kiryu's voice actor in it. Yeah! Wait, you're fucking kidding me. Studio, uh, no, Shaft it's a, is making a game? No, I don't think it's Shaft. It's the, I think it was the Damn it. I think it was the writer <laughs> of Madoka Magica that's making it. And essentially, Dude, he, Shaft can make the most fucked up horror game ever made. Yeah, essentially, I for, it's a game about like where you play as a rabbit, as a rabbit civilization, and the main character is voiced by fucking Kiryu. Of course he is. It's a the fuck you even do that. To find my reason. Yeah, that's right. Listen to this guy. It's fun stuff oh, in life if you look for it. What the hell are OGP one issues? You know why. So no Aborigine jokes. Got it. Okay, just for you. I'll let you borrow my compact. It's just completely sticker bond. She's a kid. Okay, now we gotta make our way out. But oh, we gotta go back. Fuck! I don't. Ah! Oh, I am. You mean by that? We gotta go back to the subway, which I I forgot how to do. Oh, so no making jokes about Mark's original character if I make him Australian. Got it. Yeah, backtracking. Yay! To that city hellhole. And to the subway. Fuck! Love that quote. I don't know why. By the way, and how... Absolute... Uh, by the way, uh, JK, since you live in Australia, um, what's your round limit? Like, COD Zombies thing. You ever play COD Zombies? What's the round limit you had outside when fighting against spiders? Oh, I can do that, probably. What's the round limit of you, like, playing God Spiders over in Australia? <laughs> I heard- I remember my brother telling me when I was younger that they have to call the fire department if one big enough gets in their house. Is that actually true? <laughs> I'm not stereotyping, I'm just actually downright curious about this. 
don't think it's stereotyping because it's true. These spiders do get bit that big over there. That's the fucked up part. I wish I was stereotyping. Crikey my. Oh, that works. Crikey my. I can really use some fucking weed right now. Well, I haven't. Oh, it's actually easier to do. Or is well, that too British? <laughs> JK. Well, I haven't died yet, so that's pretty high. <laughs> I haven't died yet, so that's pretty high. Listen, we're Americans. We make fun of everybody. And everyone makes fun of us as of recently. How many people think I'm Japanese because of my username? I'm not Japanese. I'm just a fucking weeb. Yes. And what's ironic is that he's been watching less anime recently. I've watched no anime recently. Something's me mentally wrong with me, dude. I swear, I just can't find anything good these days. Everything's like isekai or fucking... That's why you gotta go back then. If you're a pussy, you can call someone. <laughs> If you're a pussy, you can call someone. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for... Speaking of anime, though, I'm so fucking hyped for the winter in season three of Beastars. <sighs> I remember when that anime came out, people were like, finally, an anime for the furries. <laughs> it's not, though! It's so good! They have a fucking... Dude, they have a fucking police panda who's the most badass motherfucker, and he's played by um, uh, Jiraiya's voice actor, and it's sick! Jet. I love it! Jet. Don't oh, you God. ever mention that anime in my chat ever again. No. Keep that shit away from me. Really? No. Dude, I watched that, and I'm like, I've seen less disturbing shit in non-con hentais than I did in that. Like, oh my God. And what's fucked up is because the author intended it like that because he knew his audience. That's the fucked up part. Like... I understand that you're already doing things I can't mention on YouTube to her, but do you really have to cut off all their fingers and then regrow them and slice them off again? What's fucked up what the is- fuck? What's There's fucked like up- There's some saw shit right there! What's fucked up is that oh they're not afraid to censor shit. They just show everything happening! Dude, they're actually putting a completely uncensored version out in Japan only. Oh my god! You know that fucking Blu-ray is gonna be scalped as shit if it's even legal to import. I'm trying to think what you would do. Like yeah, I asked here. if New Jersey has vegan pizza in Japan. Love where that the Discord voice calling out the cringe. <laughs> Dude, I, I, my dad would have a word with you. You know what my dad used to say at restaurants when they asked him if he wanted it raw? And I'm not even kidding about this. He'd say, I still want it bleeding on the plate. Or no, I still oh, want it bleeding on the plate. Oh, God, why? Dude, when it came to dark humor, my dad was a fucking badass. I mean, he was a nom vet. Of course, they had fucked up humor. My dad wasn't a nom. He was in he was in Korea after the war. Oh, it was a uh, that the other he was war. an MP. It My was grandpa the... was a uh, World War II vet on the Japanese side. Of which they killed all his friends in Canada, so I had to hide my weeb face from him in middle school. You know how hard that was when he was staying at our house. Yeah, essentially. Like, his hate for Japan boiled down to even hating TV. No, medium well is essentially, like, it's half, it's, like, essentially the hot, it's essentially, like, it's, like, that still has moisture. That is typically how I order my steaks and my burgers. Like, medium well is, like, the only way you're, is, like, the limit to me. If anything past here's medium, it just becomes rubber. I mean, here's the problem for me. If I order it too raw, it's gonna taste gummy in my mouth, and I don't want that. So I, I like either ordering it medium or medium well. Yeah, that's medium's the limit I'll go. Cause after that you're just eating rubber at that point. Like there is there's a really good German meat place or German I guess smokehouse. It's like a bar it's like a bar and restaurant. Tavern is essentially what it is. That opened in like a German town in North Jersey, and it's makes the fucking best meat dishes you've ever tried in your life, dude. They're pulled pork is to die for. For burgers, that's understandable. Dude, Germans don't want to do meat as do Aussies. I feel like we're the only country besides the southern states that don't know how to do it. I mean, we kind of stole- protected. You get an instant pass on your barbecue. When you're hiking, it actually sucks more climbing down the mountain than it does climbing up, because your feet hurt by the time you're on top of the mountain. Yeah. Have you ever done hiking? I don't know. Once and I hated it. Fuck! I what? mean... I was watching, I was watching, uh, how many dumbbells do you lift, and they actually explained a good walking technique. Well, I'm screwed. I will practice next time I do that. Well, fuck. I've done hiking in GTA, does that count? 
Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God you ran away. Thank nah. you. As long as you as long as long you push some, a bystander off the mountain once you got on top of there, it does count. Finally, you ran away, you dick. See, I feel, speaking of GTA, I think Florida's the perfect place to put it, but I feel like by the time it comes out, the Florida meme will be dead. And that's the best part, isn't it? I mean, I'll make Florida Man jokes all day. Anyway, I have to pee again. Uh, everyone got killed because they kept spamming stun on me. And because of that, most of my party member was party was stunned. And I couldn't move, so everyone just kept attacking. Like, they just kept spamming the Shibabu spell, which, like, stuns you, and I can't move. And everyone's just dead. That's what I assume. I'm just shocked they're reviving Dragon Quest and shit. What do you mean they're what do you mean reviving? Oh no no reviving. I'm just shocked they're uh putting crazy taxi and shit. Jet Set Radio. Guaranteed that game's gonna be like super fucking cheap. It's gonna be like a ten, fifteen dollar game. Dude, Jet Set Radio, I can't wait for the new Jet Set Radio once they finally do that. Wait, they wanna make crazy taxi an MMO? How the fuck do you make crazy taxi an MMO? I don't know, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, it, it actually does. <laughs> Dude, I just want like a kind of like a chill game that you're just a normal taxi driver. E a lot. Restores Persona's, Persona's change ability. It'll be really fucking funny. Imagine fucking the MMO aspect of Crazy Taxi is just you ramming in other players. Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi. Oh, it's gonna be like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Oh, so you're gonna get chased by cops. Okay. <laughs> now you're digging into my childhood. I remember I played Hot Pursuit and I got bored because I'm not really a racing game guy. So I've been writing up a uh, Pokemon Tabletop United campaign. We can never get our other friend into this. Or you be a cop chased by a taxi driver. <laughs> what? The pair that might be crazy taxi. You're just a cop <laughs> being chased by a taxi driver. Taxi driver. We're on. I mean, I'd, pr I'd probably be like studying like Rocket League, like a drop-in game. You'd probably start like rounds like it's the arcade game. Just ram the shit out of other taxis in order to get clients. <laughs> fuck yeah. That would be sick, actually. You just ram, you just absolutely T-bone the fuck out of other taxis so you can get fucking clients. I can imagine how muffled this song is coming from an original PSP. Yeah. This portable cops is like that shit audio between the 3DS. Actually, even that 3DS, that crappy audio. Dude, here's the thing. The thing speakers. was, here's the thing, though. Atlas always went hard when it came to their OSTs. They always did. It's just the way they were. Like, they were always, like, making really good music, even back in the 90s. They're just that oh, good at making music. I mean, I assume because the PS3 license with Spence was fucked in it up when it's why they threw it on here. Well, here's the thing. They only made two games for the, for the PS for the 3D, PS3, which was Catherine and Eight, P5. Ten years? Yeah, they only made two games for the PS3, and that was they published Catherine a lot. Catherine and P4, I guess. Yeah, no, Catherine and P5. Because P5 was on the PS3. I told you that already. Yeah, and the thing. No, you said P4. And the thing is, though, is that, um, as you said, oh, the license... I, to play Catherine. <laughs> I have Catherine! We can stream it! So do I! And it's the full-body one, too. Same. I have it on Switch, though. I have it on PlayStation. What yeah, sucks... Like the here's the thing, though. Play a lot of stuff on Switch. Oh, shit. Here's the problem I have with it, though, is that... It's on PS4! You could easily make the game run at 60! But they just- uh, Can I get a Gen Z translation for the word goaded? Greatest of all time. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta understand, chat. I'm a millennial, I don't get Gen Z speed. Yeah, he doesn't get the memes up today. Again? <laughs> no, 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 this is for the pussy thing. So I made a video with my cat, I'm like, you're such a pussy! And I got a community guideline strike, yet I can say the F word all I want. It makes no fucking sense. Persona 5X is getting a new character. Fucking course it is. Oh god. Wow, a game that I somehow don't care about. Persona 5X. 
I actually do kind of care, and I wish it would come to the United States. It probably is. They're just testing out whether or not it would work. China Senpai, please port the game! They got a Granny Persona user! I'm like, bro, finally, an adult what? Persona what? user! What? Yes, they, what? they got a Granny Persona user. Hang on, I'm gonna go hack China's servers real quick now. I'm not joking, like, they've been adding so many Persona users recently. Oh. Both teenagers and adults. Whenever I tell someone I'm certified in IT, they're like, Whoa, dude, can you hack somebody? I'm like, first off, that's really illegal, and I don't feel like dealing with the FBI. Second, what the fuck, bro? Oh, bro. Am I allowed to make fun of Australian colleges in the, with the Australian accent? accent? Maybe. I know your college's mic's a shit. Don't worry, ours. I love P5X collaborating with P5. I didn't even go to college, so jokes on me. Me neither. God, we've been streaming for four hours. We're gonna be a record. Kanashiro arc fighting a fake Kanashiro shadow. How the f wait? What? How the fuck does that work? Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, oh yeah, Wednesdays my time slot. Yeah, Wednesdays uh, are br Wednesdays break time. I might stream stunning, depends on how I'm feeling tomorrow night. Uh, if I do stream stunning, I'm probably gonna stream Case of the Golden Idol, which is a detective game. Yeah. Or just playing a coaster or something, I'll figure it out. Yeah, anyways, for those that stayed all the way to this stream, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Like you mentioned earlier, we're gonna do an all nighter if we reach 150. And, uh,. Yeah, and if you guys, you gotta also dangle that. Like we gotta keep, you just gotta keep dangling that goddamn carrot. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll dangle that carrot as much as I need to. <laughs> You're at 139. We're so close. 139. Wait, did I get a sub? You might have. Did I? It doesn't stay bad if someone subs, which is annoying. Hell yeah! Let's go. Just 11 more keep subs. Dangling that stupid carrot. <laughs> Yeah, and essentially, if you guys like the stream, go ahead and like it. And as for those watching after the stream, um, if you guys like the stream, go ahead and like it if it's, if it's deserving enough. Subscribe if I'm worthy enough for your time. And leave a comment for those that, you know, just want to say anything about me or, you know, laugh or say something about our cringe ass jokes. Anyways. Laugh at our expense. Yeah, it's laugh at our expense. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go to bed. It's 1.44 in the morning where I'm at. Dang. So, I'm going to see ya. Bye-bye. Night, guys. <laughs>